I know starting a new LP, like, right away is not, like, the smartest thing to do, but I actually had a special request come in right when I was about to start this, and I then noticed that if I finish this faster, I can get to the request quicker, and, you know, all that's dealy and, uh, stuff like that. So, yeah, so I'm going to have to, so I start decide to start this, you know. And this is Ku Impact with Let's Play Super Mario Land 2 with six golden coins made by Nintendo in 1992. It's pretty fun. But, you know, you might notice something. When we got into this, I'll show it off. Other than, you know, Mario's walking look kind of funky. I don't know. It's just he kicks his leg all the way up. So let's check out this map here. We have a mushroom house. Which is useless. We have a tree and a forest. We've got a hippo doing the Egyptian dance. We've got a house. Not like the doctor at all. A star and a moon. A, a pumpkin in a forest. A Mario. And the turtle. Now I've beaten this game. And I've beaten it on the console. And I've beaten it on emulators. And there it is. The stormy castle. So let's get into this. Mario, he can run, and he can jump. That's all Mario can do. It's not like it's Mario Galaxy, where he can spin. And, uh, he can also pick up shells, which you can crush against the top of blocks. Mushrooms make you big, and you can do that spin thing if you hold down. It breaks blocks below you. Only certain kinds, though. You can go down pipes by pressing down. Why do I have to explain a Mario game to everyone? Because everyone... Because this is an LP, and everyone, you know, or anyone might follow it as a guide, so might as well get those out of the way so you can break those blocks and you can hit the question marks for goodies. It's basic Mario stuff. Look at them go. This music is really catchy. Hey, piranha plants, look what you're doing in those crazy pipes. There's an angry hill in the background, and there's a star and a one-up. For this, for some reason, this game thought it would be cool to make 1-Up's hearts. Although, traditionally, they're green versions of the mushroom. But, I can understand where they, where they would want them hearts, because this game has no color. So, lack of color has changed them to hearts. Already, nine lives. We're doing great, compared to the guy in the video in the beginning. He had zero lives. I feel bad for him. And now we have Fire Flower, which in this game, since you can't change color, they change his hat to a Sultan's hat. Now, we are from the Middle East. How good is that? Not the stereotype or anything. I think that's what their plan was. Collecting all these coins on purpose. Cause in this game they don't reset to zero. You have to pay for them to play mini games and stuff like that. I know it's kind of weird. Mario is jumping around. But who's his foe? Who could it be now? Now, if you touch the bell at the top of the goal, you get one of two mini games. And we've got crane drop, so let's get a three up. Actually, to tell you the truth, I was aiming for the carrot, but you know, Ku always does things his own way. And let us go. Wait, not yet. I have one thing to show off. One last thing. To the castle, even though we can't get in it. We need six coins from six bosses to get into that door right there. Who's that on the roof? Nah, it couldn't be. Him? W? Something suspicious about all this. It makes me feel uneasy, to tell you the truth. I've still got a little bit of Kent in me. And Tree Zone. Ah, just like Mar- uh, just like the Sonic, except they are zones with axe. So yes, this is Tree Zone, and this is the first level of Tree Zone. It's the roots. Usually the levels correspond to what location- what's like- what's around them on the world map, so... You've seen that it was like on the roots, and now we're in the roots, and we're running around. This is one big tree! Oh my god, and these are huge bugs. Oh! Damn, you had to be the guy to touch me, didn't you? At least I didn't go all the way back to small, but still, I lost my fire, which makes me kind of useless in combat, unless I jump. 
This game's got kind of sort of floaty physics. There's an arrow in the background over there. Like in the clay look. There's just the one up up there. I'm not gonna mad. It's like, I'm not gonna go after it. Who doesn't want to go after it? 12 lives is pretty good for now. There are a ton of one-ups. There's a one-up up there, I believe, too. If not, it's a bag of money. I'm gonna be showing as many as secrets as I can, because that's what I do. Dang it. Why did I touch that guy? Look at that. I'm singing to the song. The commentary is still not that great, but you know. Miss the jump. Well, I'll try again. At least it doesn't let the screen scroll back forever. And I touched over the bell. Do. And this is the other game. It's a Japanese lottery reversed. It reminds me of Akuma Joe Special, Boku Dracula Kun, all over again. I got a one up. Oh, I was aiming for the carrot. So now we go inside the tree. Uh. That world map's a little scary to me. But here's inside the tree, and this is the sticky, sticky sap. It acts as water at the same time. It's not. Um, like, it acts as water, but it has, like, this anti-gravity pull. So it's not really swimming, it's, like, floating. Like that! See how I float? Give me that one-up. Give me that one-up! Whoa! But yeah, why are these cow bullfish swimming in sap in a tree? In a giant tree, might I add. Because this tree, if it was small, look at that guy, he turned to a bomb. He thinks he's Bomberman! Real good one. But still, who planted this giant tree? If it was like a tree-sized tree, then we would have to shrink or something. This spinning tactic seems to work well. Works well in the nerves. You might have noticed my counters at the bottom. The first one is how many Marios I have left. And this is the flying hat. It is bunny ears. You can fly with them if you press the button repeatedly. The jump button. The second gauge is my coins. Well, they're not gauge. The second counter is my coins. That's how many coins I have. Yes. Gotta get, uh, the next counter is how many baddies I killed. I believe if I kill e either it was 50 or 99 of them... I get a prize for it. I don't think it's a one-up, but I think it's a star, so that's awesome. And then there's the T counter, which is not the ne that's not the number of Terminators that that we are decreasing here, because the Terminator 470 model would suck. Trust me, it's actually the time. I think that's all I need to explain. Other than the secret exit, which there is one in this stage, and that's what I'm going after. It's over this way. Just use your uh, little floaty hat dealy and get over here. Your bunny ears! And a star door means a secret exit. I believe there's one in every stage except the pumpkin world, which has two. I could be wrong, though. And this is the secret stage! If I die, I go back, so I don't want to die. This... this sucks. Um... oh. What are these things, anyways? Wait, are these mushrooms? These are really elongated mushrooms. But I think they're mushrooms, so that's what we're going with. I love the cheerful music, though. Koopa slaughtering. Let's do it. Oh yeah, kick! Run, jump! Gotta run and jump with the Koopa shell! I don't think you can get lives in this game, and I went a little too high, so it's not killing them anymore. Yeah, but look at them guys. They all got slaughtered by my shell of justice. Shell of justice. I accidentally crushed my shell of justice. Oh no, I kicked it in that hole. But look at that. Skills. Yay, let's go fly. Ku Impact is not ready to die. He's making a statement by kicking a shell and then slow floating with it along the map now. And it seems to be trashing everything. Look, a one-up! Let's grab that thing! Running through catchy music, beating the secret stage, making things turn to flowers on the world map. Oh, yeah. I don't like the look of that hive up there. And this has been Quimpact with Let's Play Super Mario Land 2, the six golden coins. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. Next time, we scale the tree and the bees.
make their entrance. Hell on Earth begins. I will see you then.